Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brain Bean here again, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Ducky's newest keyboard, the Mecha Mini. Now the Mecha Mini is the first keyboard in Ducky's new Mecha lineup, and as you can tell, it is another release of the Ducky 1-2 Mini, just in a different variant. Now, for me, the Ducky 1-2 Mini's kind of become like the Skyrim of keyboards. It's just had so many re-releases. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Without any further foos road d***ing around, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Let's start with the most obvious change. The Mecha Mini's biggest draw is the cast aluminum frame, and holy god is this thing solid. If you have owned or used a regular 1-2 Mini, or really any ducky keyboard for that matter, you know that they all have a nice weighty feel to them. The Mecha Mini takes this solid quality feeling and just elevates it to tank status. It's cast in one solid piece, which gives it an insanely rugged feel while still retaining some nice detail. The original 1-2 Mini weighs about 590 grams, or about 1.3 pounds. The Mecha Mini weighs in at 827 grams, or 1.8 pounds, so it's a little over 30% heavier. The dimensions of the casing are similar to the older version, and on its own it might not be too noticeable. Looking at it next to the original though, you can see that it's about 7mm thinner in overall width, and the casing is a little bit more recessed, exposing more of that top plate in the switches, which will give you a little bit more of that RGB reflecting off of the white backplate. Cosmetically, the aluminum case looks nice and classy. It's coated in what Ducky calls their nano coating, and it's kind of a fingerprint magnet though, so keep that in mind. The underside of the keyboard has zinc alloy metal extendable legs, which is nice, but keep in mind that these are just single step legs, not dual like the plastic versions of the 1-2 Mini. Overall angle on the Mecha's feet is still pretty good. It's gonna be about the same as if you had the first step on the regular Mini out. One thing I noticed pretty quick though is that the aluminum casing makes a bigger impact than you might think in terms of performance. The original Mini has a quality feel, and I use my SF every day, but maybe it's a little bit light if that makes sense. The aluminum case and zero flex nature of the Mecha board makes typing and gaming on it feel really solid. It's a subtle but noticeable impact that elevates the user experience enough in my opinion to warrant the upgrade. In terms of overall user features, this is going to be largely the same experience as other versions of this keyboard. You get the 4 layer PCB for longer life expectancy and better signal stability, full N key rollover, double shot PBT keycaps, the 3528 SMD ultra bright LEDs, full size keyboard functionality via the function keys, and the underside still has the dip switches that are included with just about every ducky keyboard. And like all Ducky keyboards, this keyboard is available in Cherry MX Blue, Brown, Red, Black, Speed, and Silent Switches. Now I got mine in good old fashioned Cherry MX Blues, and of course, here is a quick sound test. In the box, you'll of course find the standard Ducky extras like a wired keycap puller, USB-C cable, a Year of the Pig spacebar, and a set of random colored accent keycaps. Now these actually recently changed to shine through keycaps somewhere around the SF release, which really is a nice touch, as they used to kind of just be like a blank patch in the lighting depending on where you had the accent keys, but not anymore though, nice and shiny. The Mecha Mini has the same lighting capability of other Mini versions, the lights are all controlled on the keyboard, and really nothing's changed in this department. One thing I do want to point out though is that on the Ducky 1-2 SF we got three LEDs in the spacebar, very similar to what they do with the Ducky Shine 7, which was a really great addition because something like the Year of the Pig spacebar really requires three LEDs to really permeate the entire spacebar. I was hoping to see this again with the Mecha Mini, but unfortunately it's still a single LED like all the other Minis. Overall, the Mecha Mini is another solid addition to the 1-2 lineup. I do think for 20 extra bucks, having the aluminum frame is totally worth it. 
but I do wish that for those of us that already owned a 1-2 Mini, there was a little bit more here to warrant going out and purchasing this as a replacement for our current 1-2 Minis. I mean, having something like the extra LEDs like they did with the SF alone would have been just that nice little touch that would have helped push it over the edge for me and recommending it as just to, you know, go out and upgrade your original one right now. But for those of you that don't own a 1-2 Mini and you're looking at getting a good quality compact keyboard, you're looking at the 60% layout and you're wondering, is the Mecha Mini worth the extra money? Absolutely 100% it is. I challenge you guys to go out and try to find anything with this type of cast aluminum frame with cherry switches, PBT keycaps, everything that you're gonna get with this keyboard anywhere near this price point. It's an absolute steal, a fantastic quality keyboard, and I highly recommend you guys check this one out. Well, that's it for the review, guys. Let me know in those comments down below what you think about the Mecha Mini and hell at this point, anything you wanna see come out on a mini line as well because there's probably gonna be a bunch more and who knows, maybe you're gonna guess right and come back to this comment and you can tell everybody you told us so. You can give this video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support and if you're new here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any more videos like this from me. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and if you made it to this far in the video, you guys are the real MVP. I appreciate you sticking with me to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,